So obviously it's, you've, you've had a taste of prison now. From obviously when you was deep in parliament, you know, you, do you think it's been a bit of a like an eye opener to the, you know, because naturally in parliament, it's quite easy to look at, you know, that side of society in a light of like, oh, prisoners, you know, scumbags if you like, yeah. criminals. Do you think it's opened your eyes a bit to like, it's, you know, when you meet some of these people, it's not all, all it seems. Yes, when you, you know, when you have the principle, yes, lock people up, throw away the key, um, they're all bad. But of course, when you meet the individual prisoner or an ex-prisoner and ones that have gone straight, you know that they are real people. You, I also have a temper on me. I also know that I, if I'd been brought up in the wrong part of town and I'd be armed and somebody came at me, I would probably shoot and then I would regret it afterwards. Yeah. And so a lot of these people have done things that they've now very much regret. And I think I think the biggest challenge for prison is to be able to reform people, to be educate them and send them out with a chance uh, with more money than £43 because they're never going to, you know, no home and £43 are going to come straight back in. Nowhere, and it? so, you know, open my eyes to the fact that we have got to do proper education, proper courses and even let them earn some money and work while they're in prison so they go out with something and then they've got a chance of going straight. But of course the biggest challenge, you know, the, the probation officers, the, the prison report, um, you know, when you go before the parole boards is is that prisoner gen genuinely reformed? Yeah, yeah. And of course, I think sometimes they're very cautious in the parole boards because they don't want to get it wrong. No, and, obviously. And I think that's, seen when it's wrong, that's a problem wrong, in a way because yeah. I think too many people are left inside for too long. I, and I can get why sometimes because yeah. you've seen it yourself. We were on the news recently. They, they, they get it wrong, they let someone out, and then yeah. what happens? Yeah. This fella's gone and done X, Y, and Z, murdered X, Y, and Z, and then it, the fingers are pointing. Why did you let this criminal out? Right? Yes. So, but then on, it's, a, it's a shame because there's a lot yeah. of times when people yeah. genuinely deserve to come, go yeah. home to their family. Yeah. They're rehabilitated, but that piece of paper shows yes. otherwise That's because right. you know they've got, like you say, a short temper. Like you yeah. say, what you said a minute ago is I noticed um, you've got that sort of yeah so that's that mentality I, where that's, you would you would you would bite you would shoot. Yes, exactly. If I thought I was being threatened, you know, I would fire back. And the trouble yeah. is, you know, if you are, you know, I mean, I was brought up as a farmer. I worked very hard, but of course, I was brought up in a, a stable environment. But I still had a father who had quite a temper, um, and that's how I was able to deal with these guys in prison. Not because I had no temper but because I did have one yeah. and I realised that they would probably calm down and what you didn't do was sort of go at them when they were in a real temper and you let them calm down mm. and that's where I had huge respect for the, the prison officers which they call the screws as you know when they're in, in prison um, and um, you know because they, they the, the prison officers allow them to sort of, to sort of sh shout their mouths off sort of so far and they let them go up halfway and then they bring them back down again whereas if you pounced on them straight away it wouldn't work no oh, yeah and of course what I did also find fascinating which I didn't realize that, that there are there are female women prison officers and of course unless the man is a real you know the criminal is a real villain um, he will largely protect women um, and so the, the female prisoners an instinct in it work quite well. Mm. Um, and I was surprised by that. But, yeah. And of course, what there is amongst the prisoners um, is, a, is a community. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and they look after I mean, I When I went in, they, in through the jail, they, they strip searched me. They, they took all my belongings away, literally, gave me the prison clothes, didn't even give me my wash bag back. <laughs> and I had to apply to the prison, to the governor to get them back. And it became quite a joke because nothing ever came back. Yeah. Uh, but then they would give me, you know, all the other ex-cons would give me shower gel. Have you got any soap? No. Have you got any um, sh slippers to wear in? You know, uh, and they gave me all they these things. Craftier. And, and um, I was amazed by the, you know, there is a comradeship. Now they'll they'll suddenly fall out over something, but you know, a lot of the time they're very much together. And of yeah. course, you are in a, you know, you're in a very closed environment. And of course. It probably works fine if you get on all right, but of course, 
if you happen to go in a cell with somebody you hated or, or developed the hate for, then there'd be trouble, wouldn't there? Yeah, all. definitely. Because it's, you know, I mean, I, I didn't realise how small they are, you know. I mean, they're the only, cells are tiny, aren't yeah, they? they are, you know, and then, of course, the bunk beds, they had no rail on them. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, was up there, I was up there against the wall. I thought, well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm no mean weight and I'm 67. You know, I'm not going to bounce very much yeah, when I land mate, on the concrete. I know exactly what you mean. And, it's and scary, so I, isn't it? I rolled over against the against the wall, hoping that I wasn't yeah. going to roll back over. I want to be on the top bunk when I'm better escaping, yeah. but fall yeah. down in the night. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, but no, I mean, I stayed with Czech for two nights. I then had um, Andy Williams, who's uh, of Jamaican origin and um, really interesting guy, got loads of children and um, had a, sort of about four children under 12 months old, which I found very interesting to work out how he managed that. There's several, several mothers. Um, um, but you know, you, he was talking about the life he had, and now he's, you know, rehabilitated and he's doing work in, in Birmingham and Wolverhampton, yeah. trying to get a trying to get a a, a, a um, go kart track, you know, help yeah, with problem youngsters. Himself, yeah. So you know, they're all I mean, checks doing work, you know, to for rehabilitation and in prison. So, and of course, what I did notice when I was in there that if we had a, a course right being run by an ex-com mm. um, who'd been through the system, they would all listen to them much more. Of course you know, I mean, if I went in as a, you know, a very, very middle class, you know, whatever, um, what, what the hell does he know about yeah, it? That's um, it. And so there's no through, doubt yeah. that in prison, I think, and with young offenders, uh, we need to use these guys much more. Definitely, uh, so, I agree. That, so that they, you know, because those young offenders, you know, if, they, if these guys tell them that this is what happened to us, we got locked up for 14 years, and you don't want to get locked up for 14 years. No, yeah, years. they speak from experience, they're not yeah. what they've learned. The, the knowledge they're giving these young ones is right. first-hand experience. It's not read in a textbook. Exactly. There's some things you can't learn from a textbook. You it's can't. practical. You need to go you out and do, do it, it, live it. Absolutely. Experience I mean, I'm a, it. See, you know, I'm not only a politician, but I'm a farmer. So I'm a great believer in practical. practical I believe yeah. in smelling it and seeing it yeah. and feeling it. And that's what these guys have done. And when they're talking to young offenders, then they can explain to them and those young offenders are likely to listen yes they also speak with the right language the right accent exactly you know if you go in there relatable with, if you go in there with a terribly posh accent telling them what to do they are not really <laughs> yeah gonna, they're not going to listen they really are not going to listen to you are they you no know? and you could have loads to say but it's, it's automatically a exactly. pop you might you be absolutely right in what you say but because you haven't lived it breathed it and been through it um they're not going to listen to you in the same way no yeah definitely okay then Fella. I'd love to. I'd love to get you on a podcast and you up for it. Yeah, I'm up for it. I think I did, there'd be yeah. a lot to touch on, especially yeah. with the youth and that. And yeah, exactly. Because now you've been in, you know, you've been in Parliament and whatnot, yeah. so you've lived that side of things. And I know it was only 11 days, but 11 days was yeah. enough, was it not, to experience? Definitely. That and, side and it's of a life. full immersion. And of course, what it has done is made me very interested in in the justice system okay. um, and the fact that it's not working basically and yeah. we're you know even if you put your financial hat on you know we're spending 120 150 thousand a year to keep people in prison well if you didn't need to keep some money in there um, then you would find that you would save money there and you could spend that on rehabilitation there you go and send it on young offenders trying to make sure because if you send a young offender sorry to keep going but if you no, send keep going, if keep you going. send a young offender into a mainline prison all you do is give him the best school of bloody criminology you'll find because he'll make all the contacts and and, it, and it'll just get worse exactly you know, so, exactly. so I, mean, I i had only had a sort of week criminals or so in there but, I, but it gave me a great <laughs> education so thank you for the opportunity no for talking about it Thank you, I appreciate you. And now you've been yeah. on this side, I think you should go back to Parliament, yeah. get back into that stuff. Get back stuff. in the bottom and tell them what it's all about. Because now you've experienced it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.